Who are your favorite Asian male YouTubers? Here's a few that we watch. Yeah, if you guys are anything like us, you definitely watch a lot of YouTube. You watch like every single type of channel, Andrew. But we compiled a list of some of our favorite Asian guy channels to sort of just give an extra shout out, right? Because sometimes uh, when you relate to the messenger, sometimes the information can seep into your head a little bit more. And sometimes there's just unique content. Yeah, so let us know. Hit our uh, hit that like button. Let us know uh, who your favorite Asian male YouTubers as we get into our our list. All right, guys, we are in the food section. I got to start off by shouting out somebody, Andrew. This is actually a Mandarin channel, even though he does speak English fluently. Chinese food tour. Yeah, it's just called Chinese food tour. Yeah, That's literally. It. Yeah, it's Do just we... Chinese food tour. And I'm telling you, he goes all around China to small villages, Andrew, the most famous like food city in that region. And he tries Everything. Yeah, and he always wears this black backwards hat. I think the brand is Yupong. I'm pretty sure they also sell it on Amazon. But man, he makes the food look delicious. Obviously, I can't understand fully everything that he's saying, so I watch it with the captions sometimes. But man, he shows a lot of dishes that I've never seen before. Yeah, and I think the main key is, Andrew, he doesn't just go to the international chains coming out of China that are super sleek like a Heidi Lao or a Da Long Yi. He's deep in the cut. Yeah. Moving on, Andrew. Um, This is something that uh we send to dad. That a lot, Andrew, cooking with Lao. Dude, this is a channel about a uh, father, Cantonese father, who doesn't really speak English that well, but he ran restaurants for many, many years, and then his son helped him start a channel covering a lot of his recipes. Right, and his son narrates in English, right? Yeah, yeah, so it's very well done, super well edited, a lot of great recipes, and uh, sometimes it's just nice to watch just a good looking video of somebody cooking, man. Yeah. It almost reminds me of the content you, that you find in Asia, but yeah. in English. There's a ton of food content over there. Um, Quang Tran. Yo, He's he funny. got known for doing mukbangs and cooking. Yeah, so he got into the cooking space and yeah, he, he's charismatic dude. He's kind of like leading that one of the main, uh, you know, home chef type guys. So it's cool. And I like it because a lot of his equipment is very relatable. It's not like he's using a big propane, butane, right. like wok. Not you know, formally trained. Yeah. Andrew, and last but not least, Andrew, we've got Iron Chef Dad with the famous Canadian chef, Suzer Lee. Yeah, hosted by his son, uh, Jet Lee, uh, who's the youngest of the brothers. But uh, man, he's always taking like, okay, so we can take the, the McDonald's. Hmm. Yeah, you know, this cheeseburger is uh, pretty good. I used to grow up on this, so, but uh, let me make it gourmet for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of the um, uh, the frozen home-cooked dinner meals, but uh, we're going to see how we can twist it up today a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's basically, it's like a cooking channel with an iron chef, so essentially, <laughs> it, it's pretty cool. Um, Some uh, outdoor chef is pretty good, too, Andrew. He cooks a lot with, like, uh, game meats and things like that that he finds out in the wild, mm. but there's a ton of other people. Make sure you let us know who you follow in the comments section below these are the ones that we thought of just off the top of our head andrew um we work in youtube so we use a lot of film equipment andrew there's a couple good asian guy film channels potato jet nvu films in sydney dyongzon mm. these guys they review camera equipment lights audio equipment stuff that we use yeah 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 i, I mean i would tune into them i probably don't watch all their videos every day, but when I catch it, it's always informative, you know? Yeah, it's fun. I think a lot of Asian guys have some really good gadget channels explaining phones as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Ben's Gadget Reviews. He reviews uh, a lot of cell phones, electric scooters, electric bikes, things like that. Um, moving on to the workout section, Andrew. I, there's a ton of Asian guy workout channels, actually, because one of the original guys was actually Mike Chang from Six Pack Shortcuts. Right. He was like the original workout, workout guy on YouTube period. Right. But I found somebody who's really, really relatable. I believe they're originally from Australia, but they live now in South Korea. Wan he, mm. Andrew, he's really good at making it relatable to the person who only really wants to work out three to four hours a week. Right. Because there's a lot of channels on YouTube right now that teach you how to be a bodybuilder, but to be a bodybuilder, you have to spend seven to 10 hours in the weight room a week. Right. And you have to be like super harsh on your own diet. So you're saying you're not gonna be a bodybuilder no so shout out to when he i feel like he really breaks it down in a very relatable way he talks about the mental aspect behind staying fit and mm -hmm. losing weight he talks about a lot of protein yeah. cortisol insulin yeah i like it it's a little bit more of a moderate how to get ripped in a moderate way where he kind of mentioned i remember he's making this video about like hey you know the the key to a good diet that you want to get uh that's gonna make you get ripped is just the one that you're gonna stick to 
Because a lot of people, they do these crash diets they and, and they don't like it and it stresses them out. But if it stresses you out, you want to stress, eat more. So it's almost like a bad cycle. Right. It's very relatable advice and he doesn't try to sell you stuff. Uh, That's the key. I'm not saying, listen guys, there's a lot of good advice channels out there that are trying to sell you 17 products every 17 seconds. Right. Uh, but if you do want to go the weightlifter route, Larry Gao is mm -hmm. a uh, guy from 626 who became a bodybuilder. Yeah, and he does like funny videos with his friends. So he's kind of like represents that AZN gym bro yeah, culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Very uh, AZN frat bro, cool guy. Um, moving on, Andrew, to the basketball sneaker reviews. Mm -hmm. Would you say, Andrew, most of the performance basketball sneaker reviewers, at least like 30 or 40% of them online are Asian? Yeah, yeah, dude, a lot, man. Those guys, and they get really nerdy about it. So, uh, obviously, Hoop and Life, shout out to Nelly Nell Chan. You get to see, you know, him hoop and review shoes. Also, like, the Soul Brothers channel, which is now just... Uh, the Soul Drop. Yeah, Soul Drop. S yeah, Sammy Lee, he gets, like, every Yo, single Sammy sneaker. Sammy Lee got every shoe. Oh, you know who else got every single sneaker ever? Tommy Liu. Tommy Liu, and he, you know what I like about him? He's buying a lot of stuff from China and a lot of stuff from Japan. Mm. I got the A6 Nova Surge one low because of him, and I got it shipped from Japan. Oh, there's a really good guy in the Philippines, Marquez from Manila, Andrew, uh. and he always opens up his videos with Mabuhai. <laughs> Uh, all right, going on to kind of like martial arts channels, there's a couple that I want to highlight. Obviously, our friend Jeff Chan, MMA Shredded. I'm actually currently training with him. So there's some content that's going to be coming you, out on his you've channel. You've been getting a lot more into martial arts training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Between Wing Chun with Ronnie Chang, and then I, I'm doing an MMA with uh, Jeff. Boxing, boxing with Boxing. We do boxing with some friends in New York. So I've been, I, I'm kind of, I might do a video on martial arts and kind of my introduction to it and my thoughts on it, not being an expert, of course, but having kind of trained different You know what I love arts. about Jeff? And, and you would say that some Western people, in a generalized sense, obviously not all Western people, have accused a lot of Asian martial arts, Lander, of being too form-based and not enough heavy pressure testing, right? Yeah. Like, specifically Chinese martial arts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like Jeff, he, like, shows you the applications in real life sparring, yeah, yeah. right? So he's not like a Wing Chun master, but he'll do Wing Chun moves just to see how they might kind of work in sparring. And here's the thing about Jeff, of all the martial arts YouTubers, okay, not only did he win the self-defense Olympics, right? He, right, but they had like the a mini uh, self-defense YouTubers like Olympics, right? Yeah, yeah. but uh, he just spars constantly. Right. Yeah, actually, he was a pro one championship fighter. Yeah. Anyways, guys, there's also Kevin Lee who does a, a lot of mixed martial arts. He does like focuses on Wing Chun, but also he can do other things like BJJ. And you know what like I think that. is cool about Kevin Leander is he invites these older masters that are 50, 60, 70, 80 years old onto his channel to showcase their skills. These guys are never going to do social media if a younger guy doesn't go and put the right. camera on him, right? Exactly. All right, David, moving on to fashion. Fashion and sneakers. Moving on, of course, number one, you got to go with Richie Lee. Yep. Number one fashion channel. I think Richie covers the most like uh, kind of like mainstream styles that you just get, that you're gonna look good. Especially in. if you grew up playing basketball, yeah. he covers a lot of stuff that the NBA guys are wearing. Kyle Kuzma, Jordan Clarkson, uh, Shea Gilchis, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know that specific type oh. of style that we all grew up with. Um, but I would one, say uh, but one style, David, coming out of the Bay that's a little bit different is Keezy. Yeah, Keezy TV, to me, it ain't easy being Keezy. Shout out to Keezy. He's more like 88 Rising International kid, like, like uh, you know, like Shanghai American School yeah. or like Tokyo American School. You know, like the, the third culture kids. Uh -huh. um, there's also, uh, was it Locust Lo and Honey? Locust and Wild Honey, yeah. Yeah, like he's doing a little bit more of like, um, I don't know, his own like cleaner style of it. You know what I mean? Like monochrome. Uh, moving on to finance, Andrew, this is a huge area. There are a ton of Asian guys in this a space. A ton. Um, there's financial tortoise take him, Andrew. He's almost like a slow growth financial pastor. Mm. You know what I mean? Like he really preaches like, you know, index funds, time in the market, not doing super high risky gambles, you know, that's his style. But I think that that's the most style that like, you know, it's, it's good to get, even if that's not your style, it's good to hear that conservative financial advice every once in a while. Exactly. Exactly. Moving on, Andrew, they've also got Charlie Chang. He's all about interviewing entrepreneurs to get more, you know what I mean? The yeah. 10X, 50X, 100X style. That appeals to a different type of person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think his content, it definitely appeals a lot to younger people, um, which is good. I think Vincent Chan's pretty good. I follow him on social, met him up in New York once. David, you also watch Minority Mindset? Yeah, he's, uh, I believe he's Sikh. 
He's a uh, Sikh Indian. And, you know, he covers, like, everything that's happening in the market. If you want to know the impacts, Andrew, of, like, work from home ending and people going back to the office, what are, like, going to be the impact in the market or investing, watch Minority Mindset. Moving on, Andrew, just do random street interviews. These are almost more like, what, humanistic things? Yeah. Asking societal questions? Uh-huh. Uh, so there's Jubilee Project. Obviously, Jubilee is a big channel. It's actually ran by Jason Lee, and he, they do have a lot of Asians on the team, but it's not, like, Asian-specific. But they do ask a lot of interesting questions, man. Like, and they do videos that I would honestly never think of. But Like, what would it be like? Oh, do, like, all hoppers agree on this, right? Or, like, yeah. liberals versus conservatives, no, or, like, even different types of conservatives listen, are liberals, content, different types of liberals? We've reacted to it on our channel, so that's what, how relevant it is. Obviously, Asian Boss, this is a channel that's based out of South Korea, but started by English-speaking Korean guys, and they actually have, like, people in different countries... Different that, parts of Asia. That, that go out on the street and interview them. I think they're, like, you know... Uh, contractors or whatever and but i think growing up when you're asian andrew it's very hard to see asian people sharing their opinions on a wide variety of topics right yeah, and you also always i think sometimes when you're in a different country you would like to talk to random people and kind of get their thoughts but you don't speak the language you don't have the equipment you don't have a reason to do it so they kind of do it um do you you get more of like what the average person on the street thinks versus getting like an internet troll version of them. Yeah. I also want to shout out to Canto Mando. I think that they they actually do a mix of content, but the content to me that I really like is like when they went to uh, the most racist town in oh, America yeah. <laughs> and they were like asking about Chinese things and they, it was like, they went to some place, was it Arkansas or wherever the city was and it was rated as the most racist and then they go out there and they like talk to people on the street. So I feel like fun. being Canadian, they have a definitely a different perception of, yeah, man, the, shout out to them. I told them in person, I was like, yo, man, shout out to you guys for doing that video because I definitely wasn't going to do it. <laughs> um, shout out to Geography Now, Andrew. One of the main guys who runs it is half Korean. Yeah. Geography Now Dude. is, if you want to understand social studies in a fun way and learn more than you ever learned in social studies class in middle school or high school, Geography Now. Dude, I like this channel a lot, man. And he always comes out and he'll try to get the information right. If he got it wrong, he'll like make a note about it in the comment section or he'll say, hey, God. They're like, and he always tries to pull somebody from that culture. I've been watching his videos for years. He kind of has just like a true love for like wanting to understand the world yeah. at, a, at a cultural level. Yeah, man. Shout out, David. Uh, obviously, there's also some more other deep cut channels hosted by Asian guys. Like one's about... The military, Ronin tactics, you yeah. know, Mike Glover, shout yeah, out to him. Some pretty, uh, some yeah, pretty some violent pretty, stuff, yeah. but it's interesting. Content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be useful. Obviously, it depends on like what life you live. You know, Andrew, we didn't list that many gamer channels or anything like that because that's not a huge part of my current lifestyle, but it could be. So what I want everybody to do is let me know in the comment section below if you watch any of the channels that we listed, um, if we missed anybody, and what are the channels that you watch that are run by Asian guys on YouTube and what they're about just so everybody else can discover them as well. Yeah, and also let me know if you think we would like them because I'm down to discover some new channels of like topics that I don't usually delve into, but I am interested in them, you know, but it's just sometimes like, hard to find because there's no like guide yeah what do you think about tiktok somebody was telling me there's there's about like 50 to 100 creators on tiktok i mean i i watch some on tiktok i'm on tiktok but not like heavy heavy but i think for me people man youtube content has to be more well thought through though because you do have so. to film it you have to upload it open it up in editing program take the best cuts throw the effects and the graphics and the titles and the overlays on it and then export it. Guys, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it just feels like TikTokers just bleh, just dump their brain and just bleh, onto a TikToker. And they're like, all right, I'll post it. Yeah. That's how it feels sometimes. Wildly entertaining, though. But all right, everybody, you let us know in the comments down below. That was just a short video. Just shouting out to some Asian bro channels that we know of. So until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.